you have an ID with you? Yeah, no, I don't have an ID with you. You don't me. have your ID with you? What's your name? I'm not giving you my name. No? No. Are you concealing your identity from me right now? You you got a reasonable articulate suspicion I'm committing a crime? Yeah, drinking in public. Drinking in public? Yeah, it's a crime. And it's what? city ordinance. What's your reasonable articulate suspicion that I'm... I can smell it. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel For The Record. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please make sure you show support and go and do so. Today we look at the Albuquerque, New Mexico Police Department and an officer by the name of Gonzalez, badge number 5862. Contrary to popular belief, there are many cops who sign up for the job with hopes of serving their community. But somewhere along the line, that seems to go out the window. The good intentions of serving the community turns into frustration and dislike for the people they are supposed to be serving. I personally believe this begins in the academy. Today's officer may have been one of those guys who signed up to serve his community, but what we will witness is a cop who will do the complete opposite. We're going to see a cop do what we all know cops will do, and that is make up a lie simply to detain and arrest a man who was only asking him questions. I'm extremely curious to read your comments about this one, so please be sure to leave your thoughts below. Now back to the video. Let's see if we can get somebody out here. How's it going, sir? All right, how you doing? Good. Hey, I, I was trying to report a 1227. You're what? I'm trying to report a 1227 in progress right now. I don't know if the last officer that went in you mentioned wanna, anything. Report a 1227? Yeah. In progress. What is that? Obstruction of movement. Obstruction of movement. Why do you call it a 1227? Well, that's what the code is. What code? A uh, city. <laughs> a city code? Yeah. Do you know that uh, drinking in public is illegal? Uh, is it? Yeah. And uh, smells like you're drinking in public. You got your ID with you? Smells like you're drinking in public. You got your ID with you? You have an ID with you? Yeah, no, I don't have an ID with me. You don't me. have your ID with you? What's your name? I'm not giving you my name. No? No. Are you concealing your identity from me right now? You you got a reasonable articulate suspicion I'm committing a crime? Yeah, drinking in public. Drinking in public? Yeah, it's a crime. And it's what? A city ordinance. What's your reasonable articulate suspicion that I'm... I can smell it. I can smell it. I can smell it. Here is where it's critical to remember what this cop just stated. I can smell, I can hear you slurring your words. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so do you want to give me your name or not? I won't give you my name. All right, you're under arrest for concealing your identity and drinking in public. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Let me see that. You're violating my rights, you know? Look, man, that's all it took. I, I all right, was that all it took? For him to uh, find out what I was drinking? All, he, all it took was for me, uh, for him to lie, first of all, for him to lie about what he was smelling. Then he had to make up something else, which was um, not identifying. And then it took him to arrest me unlawfully and confiscate my property and smell my property yeah that, that's all it took that's all it took i i smelled it it's you root smelled beer? beer you smell beer or root beer I, I can you're, you're smelling beer you said you're smelling root beer right now i'm smelling root beer right now okay that's because it's root beer that's all it took all that's it took all because it's root beer you're trying to arrest me for root beer and you're saying it was beer I smelled it. Now you're you're good to go. Uh, what's your name? You just violated my right, buddy. What's your name, partner? Yeah, told you. What is it? You didn't tell me. You haven't told me what it was. Yeah, yeah you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, take care, sir. Gonzalez what's your name? Five, eight, six, Gonzalez five six eight two, buddy. You're gonna get it, buddy. Oh yeah, buddy, you f up.
I actually think this smile is a smile of agreement. Yes, I messed up big time. And under that smile is a big ball of nervousness. You fucked up. Look at Oh, you're smiling too. You think it's funny, huh? Look at you. You think you it's fucking funny, huh? You have a good day. Oh, yeah. You have a good day. Do. You have a good day. And they wonder why there's a disconnect between the, the, the police and, and the people, huh? Because people like you. Bad cops like you, they give good cops a bad name. That's so. Yeah, that's so. That's a fact. It's cops like you that get cops shot. Oh. It's cops like you. What did I do to make you not do that? Oh, violate my rights? Which rights did I violate? My Fourth Amendment to be secure, my properties, persons, and effects. You go just grabbing any, anybody's shit thinking just because, oh, I smell beer. You need to know they didn't smell no damn beer. This don't smell like beer. And you said it smelled like beer just so you can look at, at what I was, so you can arrest me and you put your hands on me, buddy. So we hear Gonzalez state that that's your opinion, that root beer does not smell like beer. If a cop cannot tell the difference between the smell of root beer and the smell of an actual beer, he should not be a cop. That's not a, that's fact. You put your hands on me. You said you were smelling beer. You knew that wasn't beer. No, I didn't. Oh yeah. You knew it was, bud. No, I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be putting complaint on you, buddy. You're going to get in trouble. You just violating oh, my rights. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's him. Oh man, that's, this guy's pretty smug. Oh hell. This guy don't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. So yeah, go ahead. I don't have to pay anyway. Maybe I'll get a free vacation. Piece of shit. Car B48. And that was for the record. The link to the full video is down below. Make sure you go over, watch the video, and make sure you subscribe. As we see, this cop has no credibility. He lied on camera. And if he lied on camera, just think about this. How many other people may he have lied on? And how many times may he have sat in court and actually told a lie? This was an awesome job by For The Record. He actually exposed a tyrant for who he really is. This is why you always record the police, and this is why you know your rights. That being said, we the People University, signing off.